going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome. And this may not look like a lot, but this tiny little flight controller is kind of a big deal. This is an all-in-one, a five-in-one, all-in-one flight controller from Beta FPV. This only weighs 3.6 grams and it has your flight controller, your ESC, your OSD, your VTX, and an ELRS receiver. Five things, all in this tiny little design. Bit FPV already released a new forward one design that's actually a little bit lighter, but there's no receiver on it. Uh, and they put that in both their Air 75 and Air 65. So this one's even lighter. I think it's 2.9 grams, but you're going to have to add a receiver. Uh, so the weight, yeah, it kind of is roughly the same. I think this is going to be a little bit heavier because of the wires and the things you have to add to add the receiver. So you can save a little bit of weight. Uh, by going with this five in one. Four in one is $45 and this five in one is $49.99. So let's talk about what you're getting with this flight controller. So first of all, it has a new processor, it's G473. It is supposed to be 55% faster than the F411. That's cool. It has 16 megs of memory for your black box. And I believe there are two open UARTs. One and four are open. I believe the uh, receiver is on two and the smart audio is on three. So the built-in ESC, it is BlueJ firmware 96K, I believe it is. Um, and this is 1S only. VTX supports 25, 100, 200, and 400 milliwatts, as well as pit mode. And it's running Smart Audio 2.0. It is ELRS, uh, it's Serial RX, and it's running 3.4.2. Okay, so now the question is, what am I gonna do with this? And that's where I need your help. Uh, so I have a few different options. I'm gonna build, obviously, a tiny whip with one of these, and I can go with a 65 or I can go with a 75. And I think, you know, I could probably shave off, you know, a tiny bit of weight building a standard 65 or a standard 75. I mean, these are already incredibly light and they fly super well. Um, so I don't know if I wanna go that route. I'm actually a pretty big fan of the Pro Series frames uh, because they allow you to pack in slightly larger motors, right? I just built this guy um, with some remnants of drone parts I had laying around and I was able to increase my prop size on this 65 millimeter frame. So uh, I'm considering building another slightly larger propped 65, uh, but then I thought, you know what? Maybe I wanna build a slightly larger prop sized 75. That's another option. Uh, I have some extra 0802 motors. Actually, I have some extra, oh, not 010, 1002 motors. Maybe what I'll do is I'll build a 75 with 1002 motors. Hmm. What should I do? Either way, I'm actually probably not going to keep the quad that I build. I'm going to donate it to our local drone club slash drone racing team so they can use it. So what do you think I should do for them? The more I think about it, the more I think 75 big motors, but I'll add a throttle cut. Is that a good idea? I think that's the plan. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Just a couple of additional things to kind of consider. I mean, we do get all the hardware that you'll need uh, in order to run this thing. Um, it doesn't have a standard USB-C port. Uh, we have this connector here where you connect it to a connector to connect to your computer. That is, of course, uh, included. We have this T-Style BT 2.0 uh, battery lead. You do get a UFL connector for your VTX. Now, I highly recommend when you do put this on, you add a dab of welder glue uh, to kind of keep it on there. So if you're looking for one of these, I've got a link down below. And don't forget to tell me what I should be building. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.